A new generation of structures is slowly taking their place in our city skylines and countryside panoramas. These aren't your typical steel or concrete structures. These are the structures crafted from a material as old as time itself, but with a fresh new twist, timber. It's not the timber we think we know, cut and dried into manageable blocks. We are talking about mass timber on an epic scale, cut to meet some of the highest architectural goals, including sustainability. You will be amazed by the world's biggest wooden buildings, which are now moving from the drawing board to the real world. From tall skyscrapers in Sydney to the grandeur of huge logistics hubs in the Netherlands, the stage is set for the timber revolution. Here are some of the world's largest timber mega projects under construction. The first project on the list has a unique name, Rocket and Tigerly. The 100 meter tall Rocket Tower is slated for completion in 2026. It will be clad in terracotta and sit alongside three other blocks, including the base building, Tigerly. The generous inner courtyard will contain lush islands of green. This building is under development in Switzerland's stunning alpine landscapes, where the crisp mountain air is filled with the faint notes of cowbells. Rocket and Tigerly uniquely blend the past and the future. It's made from timber, a material as old as construction itself. Yet here it is, standing tall and proud, casting a reflection on modern design and understated grandeur. As many types of rental flats as possible are planned for the Rocket high-rise building so that it can appeal to as many people as possible in the Winterthur area. The base building called Tigerly will have non-profit housing, mostly big family flats that are easy to talk to each other. The Tigerly is also meant to help Winterthur become a place for learning and student living. What makes Rocket and Tigerly so special is not just its innovative design or striking name, but its testament to sustainability. Built in an era eyeing a green future, it's an ode to renewable resources, in this case, wood. So next time you hear the chime of Swiss cowbells, remember that among the gentle echoes, there stands one of the tallest wooden buildings in the world, ready to leap into a sustainable future. The next project is a new 182 meter high, 39 story mixed use building being constructed in the bustling city of Sydney. It's the unique and forward thinking Atlassian Sydney headquarters, a workspace that aims to address the dual challenges of the climate crisis and civic cohesion. It is expected to be the world's tallest hybrid timber and steel building upon completion in 2027. Design-wise, the tower is organized into six discrete but interconnected habitats. A strong steel substructure supports each of the four levels of habitat, which are freestanding mass timber structures. One can walk into any of the multitude of breakout rooms or diverse workspaces and prepare to be amazed. On each floor, there is a naturally ventilated area that looks like an outdoor garden. Interestingly, a thriving indoor forest spans several floors, acting as the centerpiece of the building. This lush, natural setting not only provides a tranquil respite from the usual hustle, but also actively improves air quality and reduces carbon dioxide levels. In fact, Atlassian has gone above and beyond to ensure their headquarters are a shining example of green architecture. By using mass timber, complemented by an innovative facade, the engineers are targeting an impressive 50% reduction in energy use over a 10-year period. Let's now move to the Netherlands, where the Mass Timber Logistics Center is eyeing joining the sustainable timber revolution. It literally has a 30,000 square meter rooftop meadow with a design that draws inspiration from the surrounding topography and aims to increase site biodiversity by 10% over a decade. The 155,000 square meter hub will contain offices, shuttle storage, and pallet shuttles, as well as a restaurant. Talking about the interior, it seamlessly merges functionality and aesthetic appeal. 
The exposed timber construction creates a sense of warmth and natural beauty, a stark contrast to typical industrial buildings. Daylight permeates the space, thereby reducing the reliance on artificial lighting. Whereas the exterior echoes the form of the traditional Dutch barn, establishing a connection with the site's rural past. The innovative landscape encourages biodiversity and promotes a healthy ecosystem. Kudos to the design team, which skillfully leveraged the advantages of prefabrication. Aspects of the building are manufactured off-site and then assembled on-site, reducing construction time and minimizing the environmental impact. This structure differs from traditional logistics centers in that it takes advantage of the environmental, long-term, and efficient benefits of mass timber material, typically cross-laminated timber. How could they have overlooked the importance of sustainability? Using mass timber not only makes the building stronger and last longer, but it also stores carbon dioxide, which lowers the overall emissions from the building. To put it simply, the logistics center wants to leave no carbon behind. Set to be completed in 2026, it will be the largest timber logistics center in the world. The Mass Timber Logistics Center exemplifies Henning Larson's commitment to environmentally friendly and thoughtful design. With its innovative use of mass timber, it demonstrates that even on an industrial scale, it's possible to produce resilient, sustainable, and aesthetically pleasing environments. By the way, we still can't get through that rooftop meadow. Needless to say, it's a true biophilic design. Our next timber mega project is hosted by the United States. Standing at 284 feet, it is now recognized as the world's tallest mass timber structure. While it may not permanently hold the title, the innovation and collaboration demonstrated on Ascent will have a lasting impact on tall mass timber, both in the United States and worldwide. It features 259 luxury apartments, retail space, an elevated pool with operable window walls, and a sky deck. Certainly, it provides residents with not only comfortable living areas, but also amenities that enhance the quality of life. Designed by Corb & Associates Architects, Ascent features 25 stories and is touted as the world's tallest mass timber building. It edges out the Mjørstarnet in Norway, which formerly held the title. They brag that the project is not confined to superior aesthetics. It sequesters enough CO2 to be the equivalent of removing 2,400 cars from the road for a year. It features a very straightforward structure that consists of 19 mass timber residential levels supported by a concrete podium structure. A system of glue beams and columns supports one-way spanning cross-laminated timber floors, while two reinforced concrete cores provide lateral stability. Started construction in 2020, Ascent serves as a testament to the potential for mass timber to serve as a sustainable and versatile construction material that can be used in larger scale projects. And lastly, let us cover one of the largest expected residential mass timber structures that is under construction in Canada. Ad J Associates has designed this plant-covered building as part of a development on Toronto's waterfront. From the outside, the timber house is an architectural delight with its intricate structure crafted entirely from timber. The house blends seamlessly into its surroundings, creating a mirage of nature and man-made living in harmony. There will be patios for plants and thin beams will cross the building's front. It will have both affordable living units and homes for seniors. One of the lesser known sustainable features of this wooden marvel is the minimal carbon footprint construction process. By using timber, a renewable resource, the home balances out its carbon emissions, reducing its overall environmental impact. The minimalist interiors invite natural elements inside too, with sunlight streaming in through floor to ceiling windows. The space comes alive with shadows that play across wooden walls, creating a living canvas that changes with time and seasons. It's an aspect of the timber house that evokes a sense of unity in both time and place. 
It's all set to become the first all-electric, zero-carbon community at this scale. Honestly, marvelous. Now this might urge you to attain more knowledge about biophilic designs and timber supremacy. Share your thoughts below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe, especially if you want us to cover more of these projects. See you in the next video.